Welcome back, everybody, to another podcast. We just did our college football podcast. Now it's time to take a look at the NFL. And what I have before you here is just a rundown of the teams that made the playoffs a year ago. So as you can see, the Bills and the Dolphins out of the AFC East. Uh, the AFC North, the Ravens and Bengals. Bengals losing in that AFC title game to the Chiefs, who ultimately went on to win the Super Bowl. The LA Chargers and the Jacksonville Jaguars, the other two teams to make the AFC playoffs. And over in the NFC, three teams out of the NFC East made it. Philadelphia, Dallas, New York. The Eagles losing in the Super Bowl to Kansas City. The Minnesota Vikings winning the NFC North. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning the NFC South. And then two teams out of the NFC West making it. San Francisco and Seattle. San Francisco losing for a second straight year in the NFC title game. And three out of four under Kyle Shanahan. They went to the Super Bowl in 2019 then finished runner-up in 2021 and last year. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we think this year will hold as we get set. I'm going to check mark the teams I think will make the postseason this year. I'm going to use it based on what, number one, base it on last year, but also on what's transpired in the offseason. I think it's probably safe to say the AFC East is the Bills' division to lose, so I'm going to go ahead and give them the division there. And I think that's safe to say for the Bengals. Now, I know Joe Burrow got hurt, but I still think that's their division. Now, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens may have something to say, but I still think that's probably the Bengals' division to lose. In the AFC South, I think Tennessee is probably going to be better than people think. I don't know about Anthony Richardson here and... C.J. Stroud here. That one probably needs to be asterisked. I do think this is the Chiefs division to lose, so we'll go ahead and give that to them. The Chargers, though, they may not be too far off. Of course, Denver, Sean Payton making his debut there. How's Russell Wilson going to be this year? Denver has a lot of questions, but they very well could be a sleeper. And the Raiders, too. Maybe, maybe Jimmy Garoppolo is the answer. Maybe Derek Carr wasn't the guy that we thought he was. Maybe Jimmy G can get it done there. And that's actually something that San Francisco has to address. Do they start Trey Lance or do they roll with Brock Purdy? Now, I think the Rams will be a lot better this year. I think Cooper Cup is still battling an injury. I saw something yet the other day that he left practice. So I don't know about that. But Matthew Stafford, he's probably going to be healthy. So the Rams will probably have something to say about that. I think Atlanta has this division to lose because no Tom Brady, no Sean Payton here. And Carolina, I have really no faith in Bryce Young. So I really think this is Atlanta's division to lose. Now in the North, I think that Chicago could be a sleeper. Green Bay shipping out Aaron Rodgers. I don't think they're going to be a contender. And speaking of that, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to do anything for New York. Now, they might get in on a wild card spot, but I think he needs more. They need more, excuse me, than just him. I'm not so positive on Philadelphia. Now, I'm going to kind of contradict myself here. I think that Nick Sirianni's offense with Jalen Hurts, people are going to figure that out. So can Jalen Hurts become into a Patrick Mahomes? You know, that argument can be said, well, the chief, the people are going to figure out Andy Reid's system and Patrick Mahomes. Well, I think Mahomes has a lot more to offer than Jalen Hurts. You know, I think Jalen Hurts still needs to show himself as a passer. So I don't know if I'm going to give Philadelphia the division yet. If I had to say, okay, so Buffalo, Cincinnati, Kansas City, that's three teams. I feel... Pretty confident saying the Chargers can make the playoffs. I'll actually give the playoff spot to the New York Jets. I can go ahead and and feel pretty. I mean, they could probably do enough to get in on a wild card spot. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So we're missing two spots. So it's a question of do we put Miami in? Do we put Tennessee in? Well, we could give Tennessee the division. And then it's a matter of, do we think it's Lamar Jackson? Do we think it's Trevor Lawrence? I actually think that's a better argument. I don't think Miami is going to do much this year, if I had to say. So I guess the rundown, I think the Chiefs or the Bills will be the one seed. So we'll go ahead and lock that in, Kansas City or Buffalo. So that brings us down to the three seed, which I think will be Cincinnati. 
and the four seed will be Tennessee. And in the wild card spots, I think the Chargers will be fifth. So then we have the Ravens and the Jets. Okay, so the Ravens will be six and the Jets will be seven. So we'll go ahead and make that official. Now, out in the NFC, I don't know if Dallas is... I don't know. that That's a little bit... I don't think the Commanders will do anything. I don't think the Giants... I think the Giants might have been a one-hit wonder last year. The Lions could be a sleeper in this division. I do think the NFC South is the only team that's going to put one team in. So I think they're going to be the four seed, Atlanta. The one seed, I'm going to go with... I'm going to actually go with the Rams to be the one. I think Philadelphia... I'm actually going to say Chicago wins this division. So I think Philadelphia will be the two seed. And then Chicago, the three. Okay, the five seed means that we have Detroit, Minnesota... Okay, we don't think we don't think anybody's gonna do anything there. Okay, we already picked them. We already picked them. We don't think the commanders will do anything. We already picked the Bears. I think on the five seed, I'm gonna go with the Cardinals. I think they'll probably be a lot better this year. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually call an upset. Well, actually, first of all, I'll give Dallas the sixth seed. I will I will do that for them. But then I'm going to call Detroit in as the final playoff spot. So that's my playoff spot there. Again, Kansas City or Buffalo, the one seed. Cincinnati, the three. Tennessee, the four. The Chargers, the five. The Ravens get the six. And the Jets get the seven. And then in the NFC, the Rams at one. The, the Eagles at two. The Bears, Falcons, Cardinals. Cowboys and Lions. If I had to pick, I think the Commanders are going to be the worst team in the league, so they're probably going to pick first. I think they're going to have the worst record. Either them or maybe one of these teams right here. You know, it'd be something if the Pats were terrible this year. I don't think they will. I don't think they'll win, you know. They'll win six or seven games, but I think the Commanders will be that that one to three win team. Same with Houston and Indianapolis. I think they'll win, you know, one to three games somewhere in that in that spectacle. The Raiders very well could flop this year. I don't think they'll be as bad as those other, other teams I just mentioned. Let me know if you agree with these picks. Let me know who you think is going to win their division. Who's going to win that coveted one seed? Now, as far as playoff, as far as Super Bowl goes, you think that the AFC belongs to the Chiefs unless we hear otherwise. Now, an argument could be made that Buffalo could finally maybe get over the hurdle and make the Super Bowl. And in the NFC, I think the NFC is probably as wide open as it's been in years. I really do. I don't feel confident taking the Eagles. I don't feel confident taking the Rams because they could very well not be at 100%. Even though they're supposed to have all their guys back, they could, be, they could not be at 100%. So I would say Chiefs or Bills from the AFC and the NFC prior toss up. We'll be sure to keep tabs on this and we'll pick weekly as we did last year and we'll involve you in those picks and let you see those firsthand and see how we're going to go. And hopefully we'll get another positive record because we have had positive records in the past and that's something that we can always hang our hat on. So give this podcast a listen and be sure to tune in for many more football podcasts as we go throughout the season.